It's almost Victoria Day. We're gonna have fireworks, hot dogs, beer. But Queen Victoria? People understand why we have holidays. We want to stop and count our blessings and in fact enjoy them. Reflect maybe on our shortcomings, resolve to do better in the future. But celebrating Queen Victoria, it seems so Victorian to the relic of this repressed and fusty era when the sun never set on the British Empire. Of course, when it did, it rose on Boko Haram, which maybe makes us think twice about our attitude toward the 19th century. You know, we have holidays where we celebrate family and loved ones. We have holidays where we celebrate our country, remember those who have fought and died for our freedom, reminding us that good government is one of our great blessings. And that's why I think celebrating Queen Victoria is highly appropriate. She presided over a remarkable period of peace, of prosperity, and of orderly good government. Now, of course, you're going to get objections from people saying, oh, yeah, but you know, women didn't have rights back then, and non-whites didn't have rights back then, the poor were so poor, blah, 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 long list of historical grievances, some of them quite legitimate. On the other hand, you shouldn't think of the Victorian era as one of stagnation, quite the reverse. It was a very dynamic era, son of Oscar Wilde as well as of Sherlock Holmes, a time when people threw themselves into one reform cause after another. I mean, the British Navy was busy stamping out the slave trade, but Britons generally and Canadians weren't waiting for the government to do it for them. They would see a problem, they would tackle it. And if they didn't get everything done, they made a lot of progress on a lot of important things. It's even worth remembering that being a British colony sure beat being a German colony or a Belgian colony. There was a lot that was good about the Victorian era. And we think about Queen Victoria, we remind ourselves, count our blessings, parliamentary government, freedom of speech, all those things that let us fix the problems that they didn't get around to fixing. We won't going to forget what a difference they made to the condition of the poor at the beginning of her reign, the condition of the poor at the end, the openness of parliamentary democracy to all kinds of reforms, some wise, others perhaps ill-considered. But over it all, a calm and steady spirit of rational discussion of problems and of peaceful solution to them. That is something worth celebrating. So bring on the fireworks, the hot dogs, the beer, and the gratitude for Queen Victoria.